Um, this is our three bed house, just here. It's getting a bit dark here actually. And this is our front garden. Um, it's quite a few exit points in our front garden, so we probably wouldn't let the kittens stay in this bit um, for too long. Um, and there's just a variety of plants and things in here. Um, which we just need to double check on the toxic plant things to make sure there's nothing in here, but I don't think there is anything, um, which is too, too bad from the quick list that I looked at. This is our back garden. Um, it's surrounded by this thick hedge, which has a fence inside it, um, because the previous owners of this house had dogs and they had puppies. Um, and so they put a fence in. They lived here for 16 years. And it's overgrown a little bit much like that. But we'd have to sort of have a little look. Oh, there's one of our little happy neighbours. Um, he likes spending some time in here. Um, so this is, yeah, sorry, this is our back garden. Um, just at the back here, is, there is some places where they could potentially escape in the first you know, a few weeks that we let them out and we just want them to get out here. But we've got this fencing here, which we're going to put up, I think, with potentially some mesh on the bottom of it. I left this little bit of lawn as like a meadow for them when they do arrive, which would be fun for them. Um, this is the back of the property. We don't live near any main roads. We live in like a quiet residential estate. Um, out back there is the hill. Um, so lots of nice cool places for the cat to explore. Coming into the back here is our utility room. Um, so we thought this is where we do the main sort of training. This is where the kitty litter would be. Um, this room is currently where I store all my outdoor equipment. But we're thinking of converting this room into sort of like the cat's room essentially. Um, we've got some outdoor storage in a shed which I need to move all this out into but have like a nice high place, maybe even create like a little tower thing here so they could climb up because I know cats like to be high. Um, and then we've got a two door system here so they could be kept in this little area um, if they need to be. We're gonna put a cat flap in the bottom of each of these doors so they can get in and out, okay. And then coming into here, this is our kitchen. Um, all of the windows in the house are the same. They work on this latch system, so you can open them and put them on a latch like that. Um, and that's that bit there coming through. I'm trying to keep this. This is our living room in here. Um, in terms of cat proofing, we've got the chimney, which we're going to keep meshed up to make sure that it can't get up in there. Um, and everything else can get moved out and there's no places where they can get trapped or stuck or try and crawl into any hidden spaces or anything like that. There's nothing, no way of getting underneath the work surfaces or anything like that. This is our, this is going to be our lounge, but we're just converting it at the minute. We just need to get a sofa rather than a bed, get put in here, but this has just been recently decorated. Um, and then coming upstairs, we've got our toilet. Um, this is our main bedroom. Um, that's in there. And this is the office and DIY section. It's about the interior decorating. And then our bathroom and the last room of the house is the spare bedroom but all the windows have locks and we're really excited about potentially adding a new two new kittens to our family um i've grew up with cats all my life i've had three cats from kittens um and we really love them and jen's also quite a good cat lover as well so we're really excited i hope if you have any questions about our property, then please um, don't hesitate to get in touch.